Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Jason, also known as Ominous Prime. And today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Studio Series 86 Junk Heap. That's from the Transformers the Movie line. That's why it's labeled Studio Series 86, if you weren't aware. And Junk Heap is one of the Junkions that we meet during the movie. Uh, this comes in the packaging that has no plastic here, but still has plastic in here. And let's take a look at the artwork. Now oh, this is a bit different. Uh, it's like a slip-on box of sorts. And you got some cool artwork there for Junk Heap. And this one's going to be a little bit more complicated than some of the other ones that we've looked at on the channel recently. Uh, Drunk Heap will go from bot mode to motorcycle in 22 steps. And the slip-on, I guess, is the reason that we have that is for this background set here for the Planet of Junk. And there we go, Studio Series 86. It says Transformers on top. And a bunch of stuff that's uh, probably... Eh, not that important. All right, we have them out of the box here. Now, for those that are new to this, uh, when you do get your bot here with the Studio Series, and it comes with the background, if you pull it out and you only have this in your hand, you need to go back and look in the box because the background is still in there. They did this so that they would have the background while it's in packaging so they can have them attached to it but not damage the fake or, you know, the background that they have back here for you. So, if you ever just get this and are like, man, these things are cheap and look what they gave me, they actually gave you that and you left it in the box and threw it away. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy and first things first, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the accessories. He comes with this axe that spins, much like what Retgar had. He also comes with this gun attached here to his arm and this gauntlet here and of course two tires and you can put them wherever you wish and I wish them to be on the legs. Now just for comparison, there he is with uh, Retgar, also from the Studio Series. They stand head to head even, so no real difference there. Um, you can see some difference here, of course, in the deco, so it's not just a repaint. Transformation is more than likely going to be the same. But you can see that there's a bunch of different detail that was added here to Junk Heap. And as you can see, it's got the hole in the back here, so you can plug in the axe in the back if you want to do that here with him as well. And you can also attach it down here if you wish to have it go across the back. Still have the gappy forearms. But all in all, there are some parts that are used, like in the legs, but the upper body is a remold altogether. And of course, the head's a different head sculpt. And they did quite a bit here with the arms. As you can see, it's not the same sculpt that's used here, but it's not the Rekgar show today. Let's go ahead and take a look at articulation here for Junk Heap. And you can move his, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call these, I guess handlebars on his head. Um, you can turn his head side to side, but because of these handlebars, they kind of get in the way, so you're not going to be making him do a Linda Blair. So you do have some posability here with moving those around. Uh, he looks up quite a bit, uh, looks down, kind of, well not really, his chin gets in the way. For the uh, arms, up to the shoulders, gets quite a bit of range there. And I like that they sculpted this out. And you can do a full 360, just be wary that he has these back here, which you can articulate out of the way if you want. It does have the bicep swivel. And for elbow bend, you get 90 degrees. And... There's not. Oh, I'm wrong. I guess I've forgotten this on uh, Retgar. But you do get uh, wrist rotation there. So that's a nice surprise. And 
do have an app crunch. It's mostly due to transformation. And you get a full 360 at the waist. By the way, so you can take a look at his leg. So you can kick out to there. You can go back in the opposite direction just as far. And you get, I would say that's about 90 degrees. It's close enough. And for the ankle, no rocker, but you get a toe tilt up and down. Oh, wait, I take that back. The rocker is down here. So it's not the whole foot. Plenty of toe tilting action there for you if you need it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at size comparisons here before we go ahead and get to transformation. Um, as you can see, we have uh, Bumblebee here, we got Drunk Heap, you have Preceptor, also from the Studio Series H6 line, Ultra Magnus here from Earthrise, and we have Grimlock also from Studio Series. These are essentially what the three main levels you'll probably be looking at here if you want to have them as part of your mainline series. And of course we have uh, Rekgar on Rekgar <laughs> over here on the side. All right, let's go ahead and get into transformation here for Junk Heap. To get started, uh, what I do is I start with the legs, get them bent up, point those forward. Then I want to create separation here. So open that up so that extends. I'm going to push those back here like that. Get that in place. Open this up here, and you're going to go ahead and lift this up and out. Um, I had a rotated these out already um, when I was showing the articulation so that's why they sit out as they are right now. You're going to extend here and get this straightened out here for the arms. Um, you'll get to that after you straighten out the bottom here like so. This head is going to go and float up into here and this whole angle in so you can make that happen. What this will do is rotate in so that it can keep this in place and before you do that might as well flip the fists in like that way rotate the arm out and you'll have it angled like this. Same on this side rotate it Rotate it in. These will um, go into these peg holes here in the feet. So before you tab in the other one, you'll want to put a wheel here. It's going to connect into the post holes here. Just like that. See these holes here? They're going to connect onto these tabs. Just a matter of getting the right angle, sorry about that, right angle to get that connected there. So once you have the head in there properly, it'll sit like this and you can see um, like a speedometer, an odometer sitting in there. If that's what's on a motorcycle. I haven't ridden a motorcycle so I couldn't tell you. And then you take the wheel and put it into the holes here on the forearms. Just be aware that when you do this, it's quite possible that they may come out of the holes and then you just have to make a readjustment, but it looks like everything went through fine here. And for the axe, it'll just plug into the rear here. There are kickstands, one on each leg on the back of the calves. So you can stand properly. Here's Rekgar. Rekgar has his check chest guns there. Meanwhile, Drunk Heap has this uh, blaster that's here. But there's uh, five millimeter ports here. So if you have additional weapons that you want to put on there, you could. And they almost scale well enough to be uh, ridden on like this. And it's close enough. You can see there's a lot of good detail on here. There's paint added here and here, as well as on the spikes. 
It's done really well. It's really cool design. Um, would have been cool if they would have painted this maybe like a silver, although it's supposed to be like rusted up old beat up bikes, so maybe not something so shiny or chrome. But the uh, the old toy from the 80s, at least for Rekgar, had uh, chrome on the engine parts. All in all, you know, I like how they did this. It's a good job of retooling this, making this into a new bot. And hopefully we'll get the other ones also in the same line. So we can have a full set of junkyards. I think there's like five different versions. All right, so should you desire, um, you can put classified GI Joes on there so that they have more vehicles. That's fine. So there you go, snake eyes on another motorcycle. But um, I got this guy here from Hasbro Pulse. That's where I tend to do all my mainline purchasing. Just makes it easier. I don't have to go uh, snooping around storefronts trying to locate and deal with uh, people buying up all the stock before I get into the into the store myself. I just sit, and wait for it to show up. I think that's uh, pretty much all I got to say here about Junk Heap, and for that matter, Rekgar. I think they're great. It turned out really well here for the scale. For the price point, um, I really like them, and I can't wait to get more of this 86 line. And if you have any uh, questions or comments, um, you know, put them in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, uh, please give it a subscribe. I really appreciate that. It really helps me out. And um, until next time, I'll see you around. Bye.